Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week, get ready with me, so show my stash, try not any makeup. If it's beauty or makeup related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, my two new blushes from Chanel are here. Not gonna lie, I am blushed out. Um, and I believe the newest blushes, the one that look kind of Halloween themed, where it looks like it has tarot cards as the embossment, those just launched. They look pretty, but you know what? I think this is the last I'm gonna purchase from Chanel in just a little bit because it's been one release after the other, but I could not resist. I was intrigued by this formula. I don't think I have any single blushes from Chanel. So that was my logic in allowing myself to purchase these, but I didn't really need them. <laughs> Anywho, enough with the chit chat. I wanna get these blushes on my face. So let's get started with the video. Okay, let me go ahead and tell you what I have on my face. I went in to the Dior Matte Forever Foundation, mixed in some of the Surat Dew Drops Concealer Lancome Tentidol. I always link exact shade in the description box, FYI. For uh, cream products, I only went into bronzer and contour, Victoria Beckham Contour Stylus, Dior contour bronzer stick powders i went in to the dolce and cabana press powder for my under eyes and the rms loose powder for the rest of my face and then for the powder bronzer i pulled out my vive bronzer duo i forgot how much i love it i'm excited for the foundation balm and that's why i took it out okay let me change my battery real quick <laughs> All right, my lovelies. So before we jump into these beautiful blushes, let me tell you real quick about the product itself. So I purchased mine directly from Chanel. I believe they're also available at the retailers that they use. Okay, so these are the Jouer Contrast Intense Cream to Powder Blush. Five different tones available. $52 for one blush. It sounds better than 75, <laughs> but still, that's for just a single blush. Okay, so just a tiny bit of the product here. A versatile creamy blush with an ultra fine velvety texture. The sensorial formula provides up to 12 hours of wear and melts seamlessly into the skin for buildable intensity and customizable looks ranging from subtle to bold. I purchased two different tones. And I think what we'll do is we'll apply one closer to the temple and the brighter one, I think, right on the apples of the cheek. I don't have time to apply and then take off. So yeah. Okay, we are going to start with Rose Radiant. And that is, watch, I wonder if you can hear it. Radiant. Radiant, okay. So those of you who come after me, like I actually do look it up so that I can try and pronounce it correctly. Here's the box. It does have an 18 month shelf life and it was made in France. It does come with a little pouch. Sometimes I keep these, sometimes I don't. And then here is the component, just like the duo. Actually, the duo is bigger. Do you see that? Mm. And then there is the shade. No cover, no brush, it's just the compact. It does have a slight rose scent. I actually do enjoy it. It's very, very subtle. Okay, now comes the swatching. So cream to powder. Oh, okay. So it feels like a silky suede kind of powder does not feel like a cream when you swatch it, but right now as I'm blending it on the back of my hand, it does feel like a powdery cream, if that even makes sense. Almost like the clay blush from MAC Cosmetics. That's definitely the one that I'll be comparing this to. On the initial touch, 
it does feel like powder, like suede powder. But when you blend it, that's when you feel the creaminess of this powder. I hope that makes sense, but that, that is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Okay, so I pulled out a couple of brushes. The MAC Cosmetics Clay Blush. I have to think about what brush I'm going to use with that blush because not all of my brushes work. My absolute number one favorite blush brush, which is the Sonia G Classic Cheek, it does not work at all with the MAC. So I doubt that's going to work with this formula. The Sonia G uh, TF3 might work. I've been loving this with the Chanel Blush and Highlighter Duo. It's been working absolutely wonderful with that formula. The 99 from Sephora. This is what I usually use for cream blushes and liquid. So this might work really well because of the formula. Uh, also the Danessa Myrix. This is the MY5 and this is what I use for the newest Dior blushes, the Blush and Highlighter Duo. This is the brush that I prefer for that blush. And last but not least, the BK Beauty and Nikki LaRose N17. And I could probably use both bristle sides, but this one's really nice because you have the fibers for cream and liquids and then you have the fibers for powder. So I think we're gonna start with this and see how it goes. Um, I think we'll use, let's try the one that's meant for powder and see how it goes. Because like I said, when I dip my finger in there, it feels like a very silky, suede kind of powder. Not until I blended it did it feel like a creamy powder. Okay, so, Nikki N17. Okay, and I think you can definitely see that. Perfect. Yeah, this is the brush I've had to use with my MAC blush. All the other ones, it just doesn't, doesn't lay down the formula properly. Ooh, do you see that? Oh, so pretty. Okay, I would say it is smoothing. Okay, now this side, and there is absolutely no kick up in the pan when I put my brush in there. I'm smelling the rose scent. I know there are some people who don't enjoy rose scents, but I do. They remind me of my childhood. Okay, so pretty. Oh, I love this tone. I would definitely say, especially if you are trying to get away with a shade, like say you got one of the lighter ones and you are a little bit of a darker complexion, more than likely use a more dense brush so that you can really see the pigment. Chanel's blushes, most of them are like that where you have to build. Like yes, it has pigment, but most of them you do have to build them up to like the intensity that you would enjoy. But this is a beautiful Tone. Okay, beautiful. And in case you are wondering, um, I don't know if you could see it. If I press it, see how my fingerprint stays in there? It's like the MAC, that texture. Okay, now we're going to jump in to Rouge Front. And that is how you pronounce it. Front. <laughs> I feel like I have, and maybe because I also know Spanish, I feel like I have to try. Does that make sense? Uh, same component. This is the one I'm the most excited about. This tone is just, oh. do you see that? So I have a red orange. That's a powder formula in the Dior, in the single blush. It was a special limited edition. It was um, the Something Birds collection. I cannot find it, I need to find it because I do absolutely love that blush. The tone is just so perfect, but I'm excited. Let's go, oh, okay, see? No, it feels like suede. For some reason, I thought it felt maybe a little bit more creamy in the pan, but no, it feels just about the same. 
wow okay I'm pretty sure it's not going to look that scary as soon as you apply it I do feel like these blushes they give you a subtle pigment right off the bat I feel like with Chanel, most of them are like that. Unless you have a really good, good brush, then it's like, bam, in your face. You put too much. <laughs> okay, for this tone, I do want to try the Sonia G brush, the TF3. I just want to see, like, is this formula one that prefers synthetic fibers or will some of the natural hair bristle brushes that I have work? So we'll see, but let me pick up some product. Like I said, I've been loving this brush for the blush and highlighter duo formula. Oh yeah, okay. It picked up pigment. <laughs> okay, Let me, I turned it over where there's no pigments so I can blend it out. But oh, do you see that? Oh, pretty. Oh my goodness. Oh, that tone is beautiful. Reminds me of a tomato. Not in a bad way, in a good way. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, now the other cheek. Okay, I'm glad that this brush is working. It's becoming a favorite blush brush. And see how, like you can clearly see that there's pigment on the brush. But when you put it on your cheek, it doesn't, it's not scary. Okay, this brush is working beautifully. Okay. There's a brighter reflection from the window on this side and that's why this always looks a little tiny bit more pigmented than this side. Okay, beautiful. All right, my lovelies, makeup is nice and done. Yesterday was hair wash day. You already know how I feel the day after hair wash day. Anywho, let me tell you what else I have on my face. <laughs> as far as highlighter, I went in to the Dior Contour and Highlighter Duo, and I used that as my highlighter. Brows I have on Dominique Cosmetics a Brow Pencil and Got To Be Brow Gel for lips. I have on Dominique Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nudie and one of those Coco Bloom uh, lipsticks from Chanel Ease is the name of the shade, I'm pretty sure. And then for my eyes, I went in to the Skin by Kim All Matte Palette and I used the super pretty taupey shade. And then I did use one of the single shimmery shades from Hourglass in the shade Smoke. What's up, Beauty Mascara? And I think that's it. Okay, let's compare this formula real quick to the MAC. This is the Glowy Play, the Glow Play blush so this is the older formulation okay yeah see this you swatch it in the pan it feels like a dry cream and then this one as well you put your fingerprint in there and it stays older formulation is different from this chanel i do have to build the shade up and i do have to also be mindful as to what brushes I use with this blush. Okay, let me swatch this one next to the MAC. Yeah, the Chanel, it feels like a suede, powdery kind of consistency when you swatch the pan, but when you actually blend it out, it does feel like a creamy powder. I hope that makes sense the way that I'm describing it. <laughs> um, so there is the MAC and the Chanel. So I feel like they probably perform 
pretty similar once they are on the cheek because I feel like swatches don't tell the true story. I feel like you don't actually see the true performance until you put it on your cheeks or the location that you're supposed to apply the product that you're swatching because there's other factors like this is just the back of my hand. On my face, I have primers, I have foundation, I have concealer, I have powder. So it just doesn't give you exactly what you see once applied to the face. I hope that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to swatch the Rose Radiant and compare other shades that I have in my collection. Most of the Chanel blushes I have are like limited edition it's not like a true i mean it's a single it's not part of the permanent line i believe this is part of the permanent line and hopefully that means we're gonna get more shades in the future although i do feel like the five tones they gave us are pretty well rounded okay so i'm gonna swatch well actually i'm not gonna swatch this one because this is not even close to this tone this formula i do enjoy i might have to do a ranking of all the formulas that i have tried from chanel and see which ones i like come at the top three because this new one might be up there <laughs> okay the face palette so this is let's watch the nude one yeah, and this is like a true powder here. Okay, uh, I'm also going to swatch the burgundy one and then I'll swatch the tomato red one underneath it. Although I don't think it's going to be even close to being similar, but why not? So the tomato red. I also took out this one, which, well, it might be close. I love this formula. True powder. Um, let me swatch it here. Oh my gosh, I'm making a mess. <laughs> okay, so, so far this is probably the closest to this, but not really. And this one, this formula, I think out of all these Chanel blushes I've tried, this is my least favorite. It's just powdery, kind of chalky, and even though it does leave like a blurring effect on the cheek, it's just you really have to build this up. It gets hard pan super quick. It's just not a good formula. I'm gonna swatch it. Yeah, see, you can barely see it. Okay, I just had to scratch the whole top layer because you just can't get any pigment payoff from this. Okay, now we are. But I did have to scratch the surface. Okay. Yeah, none of these formulas feel like this new cream to powder formulation. All right, my lovelies, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know there was a couple of you who asked me if I was going to purchase any of these new blushes, and I think my answer was no. <laughs> I've just been buying so many blushes, but uh, I don't know what happened because here I am reviewing two shades. I don't regret it, I think. The tones I got are beautiful and they're different from what I already do have when it comes to my Chanel blush collection. So yeah, I don't regret it. Plus this formula is absolutely beautiful. It might become a new favorite. Honestly, it's it's really nice and I'm excited to keep using these two blushes. As you already know and I say it all the time, but when I review new makeup products, I try to use them for the next one, two, three weeks just so I can really form my opinion about the product. I do have the new Singe Beauty blush coming in because I am going to do the rankings of all the blushes I've tried in 2024 so far. There's just quite a bit of blushes that I have tried. I'm pretty sure I tried way more blushes than I did bronzers, which is absolutely insane. I just, I love blush. But yeah, the video is coming and it'll probably be a two-part video. I'll probably do powders in one video and cream and liquids in another. So I will be adding these to that mix and then also the Singe Beauty. And so I plan on filming that after I try out the Singe Beauty blush. Um, I need to stop 
if you see me posting about blushes, you tell me that I don't need them anymore, that I've already bought way too many blushes for year 2024. So help me out, help your girl out and tell me you don't need it. <laughs> All right, my lovelies, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea, all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly all does mean the world to me. Do not forget to let me know if you decided to purchase any of these blushes or if you decided to skip or if you're waiting for reviews so that you can make up your mind. <laughs> With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.